there's no more colorful place in the world, I think, than, than India. I mean, it absolutely uh, takes your breath away. So as a color photographer, as somebody who photographs in color, this is a great opportunity to make some amazing pictures, which are very much a part of the, the culture there. One of the pictures which I think is the most successful in my kind of 30 years of working in India was of a dust storm in Rajasthan. Out of nowhere, this dust storm emerged. And within a matter of seconds, we were engulfed in all of this dust and wind. And the sound was really kind of terrifying. So I'm riding on the road, frantically looking for something to shoot. And I, I noticed these women huddled together, kind of protecting themselves from this uh, this wind, this hot, dusty wind, and they were actually starting to, to sing in this group. So I, I kind of got out of the taxi, I ran across this empty field and uh, clicked off five or ten pictures. As quickly as the dust storm had come up, it, it, it just passed, and the women stopped uh, singing and, and went back to work. The thing I like about this photograph is that there is a sense of movement. You can see the fabric being blown uh, due to the dust storm. Uh, I also like the, the fabrics, which are in some ways no longer really uh, being produced and, and have really uh, become a thing of the past. And the trees, which give a sense of the stark desolation of uh, that part of the country prior to the monsoon. I think the joy of photographing in India is you never quite know what's waiting for you around the next corner. There's always the unexpected, there's always something which would completely be delightful, something which would be horrifying, something which you've never seen before, something wonderful, something ancient, uh, something profound, something always ready to strike you in, in the face. I was in a taxi going to my hotel in Bombay when this mother and child came up to my window begging for some money. And I, just out of uh, kind of instinct, raised my camera and made two exposures. And I looked at this picture, I couldn't remember even having taken that image. But it ended up being the, actually the lead picture to the story. And be, uh, we actually used it on the cover of one of my books. I think what inspires me is this incredible world that we live in and, and all the different ways that people live their lives. You have people in Tibet that come out of the mountains with outlandish costumes and jewelry and hats, and, and yet you have people in uh, you know, the Middle East that are covered, women are covered from head to toe. And all of this array of ex culture is all happening on the same little particle of dust floating through space. I'm just always amazed at how we all kind of do the same things but we all do them in radically different ways. So I think the thing which inspires me in life is just uh, traveling, observing, and wandering around this uh, amazing planet that we live on.